Welcome to our Learn to Trade Options series. In today's video, we're gonna cover a very important topic of buying versus selling options. We're gonna cover the four fundamental building blocks of all option strategies, buying calls, selling puts, buying puts, and selling calls. To understand these four strategies will allow you to first start your options trading if you're a beginner, and for those of you that more are more experienced, to be able to better understand your complex option strategies based on these four fundamental building blocks. So the primary thing that I wanna help investors walk away from today's session is a clear understanding of the differences between buying and selling an option contract. And my name is Tony Zhang, I'm the chief strategist here at Options Play, and I wanna make sure that you understand these four strategies very clearly before you move on to trading more complex option strategies. So let's start off with two bullish strategies, buying a call option and selling a put option. When you learn how to trade options, the first option that you probably learn is buying a call option. And this is a strategy that's very attractive because it has, un, it has limited risk in exchange for unlimited reward. And that sounds very attractive, but there is one major drawback to this particular strategy. And that's the fact that the stock, not only does it have to move higher, it has to move higher by quite a bit before the strategy even breaks even. Which in this particular case, if we were to buy a $41 call option for $2.50, that means that the break even cost of this particular trade is $43.50. So when Delta Airlines is currently trading at $41.35, this stock has to jump over $2 before the strategy even breaks even, which means that you have to believe the stock is going to move three, four, five dollars higher before the strategy really starts to pay any dividends. And that major drawback is one of the biggest concerns for many investors when they look at buying an option, a call option for the first time. Remember, this is a strategy while have has a very strong risk to reward ratio, requires the stock to make a big move before these strategies are profitable. The next bullish strategy we're gonna explore here is selling a put option. This is a much more forgiving strategy because it is profitable as long as the stocks move in the direction that you expect it to, such as if the stock were to move higher, but even if the stock were to move sideways, you'll still be profitable. Even if the stock moves a little bit lower, you'll still be profitable. That's the forgiving nature of this particular strategy. The break-even cost is actually below the current price of the stock. In this particular case, if you were to sell the $41 put and collect $2.11 for it, your break-even price is $38.89. So even though you think the stock's gonna go higher, even if it were to move a little bit lower, you'll still be profitable. But the downside to this strategy is the fact that you're taking on a quite a bit of risk in exchange for a relatively smaller amount of, of reward. So strong, uh, very favorable strategy from the perspective of high probability of profit, but the risk reward nature is skewed against you if the trade goes uh, south and the stock starts to decline significantly. And then we look at buying a put option and selling a call option, which is very similar to the first two strategies that we discussed, but a mirror image of them for if you have a bearish view on a specific stock. So if you believe Delta Airlines is going to decline in value, an option that you might look at is buying a put option. This is also whenever you buy a, a put option, just like a call, has limited risk in exchange for substantial reward. And the reason that there's, this is not unlimited is because the stock can't go below zero. But just like before, when you buy a call option, you have a limited amount of risk in exchange for uh, potentially a very high potential reward. But the downside to this is the fact that the break-even cost on this particular trade is substantially lower than the current price of the stock. So not only do you have to believe the stock is gonna move lower, you have to believe the stock is gonna move two, three, four dollars, five dollars in your favor before the strategy really starts to pay dividends. Otherwise, even if the stock moves a little bit lower, you may find yourself losing money on this trade. So that's the drawback that you have whenever you buy an option, the stock 
needs to move substantially before you make a profit on the trade. And just like selling a put option, when you sell a call option, it's a very forgiving strategy, but it's more for when you have a bearish view. So if you think the stock is going to decline, you can sell potentially a call option. And as long as the stock stays below the break even point, which in this particular case is $43.99 when I sell the September $42 call and collect $1.99 for it, even if the stock were to move a little bit higher against the directional view that I have, I can still be profitable. Only if the stock was to um, rally substantially do I have losses on the trade. And the downside to this strategy is that the further the stock moves higher, the more money I can lose. And there's no limit to the amount of capital that I can risk when I sell a call option. So just a quick review of what we discussed here today. For bullish strategies, whenever you buy a call option, that requires the stock to make a big rally before you can profit. In exchange for that, you have limited risk. When you buy a put option, that also requires a large decline in order to profit, but it also provides you with limited risk. On the flip side, you can sell a put option, uh, but that is a very it is a very forgiving strategy that will profit in many different scenarios and has a very high probability of success. But in exchange for that, what you have is a much higher risk potential, which is the same for selling a call. This is just a forgiving bear strategy, but it has a very, very high risk potential. So the important thing to remember from this, from this session is not necessarily which strategy is best because there is no best strategy. What's important is understanding each strategy's unique pros and cons and understand when to apply them based on your market outlook. So if you think the stock's going to make a big move, you might want to buy a call or a put. If you think the stock's going to make a more mild move and you're not quite 100% sure of that directional move, you might consider selling a put or a call. And I hope that this inspires investors who are learning this to seek education on more complex option strategies because this is really where we can start to learn how to combine the best of both worlds to be able to have limited risk while still having a forgiving high probability strategy. Learning credit, debit spreads, and more advanced strategies allow you to merge these concepts together and take what you've learned here, the fundamental building blocks, and start to uh, play around with options and again, get the best of both worlds. So with that, I wanna thank you for taking the time out here to watch this video. I hope that you find this helpful in giving you a better understanding. I will include a link below to the full buying versus selling options webinar that I recently hosted. If you want to take a more in-depth view into what you've learned here today, it also includes a link to our full platform, our daily trading ideas, as well as all of the other educational videos that I have. And if you found this useful, I hope that you hit the like button as well as hit subscribe so that you can be notified of all future videos that we post. Thank you so much, and I hope you guys have a great trading day.